Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. Uh, one of the things I get asked a lot about is um, with my Kodi setup, I have widgets set up so straight there on the screen you can actually see my action movies. I can scroll through all my action movies. You can see my comedies. I can scroll through my comedies. And then I have genres which don't exist, like kids. And I can have anything which is child uh, related, child friendly in its own little movie category or TV show category. Uh, that way it's faster to navigate, it's easier to navigate, and uh, it just makes generally it a lot better to go through and find your movies in this manner. Um, now I'll go on with the next video to talk about the skin that I use and I'll go through a quick setup with Cody and how I actually set that skin up. But um, what I want to talk to you today about is Tiny Media Manager. Uh, I use Tiny Media Manager to actually go through and uh, do all the metadata for all my shows and all my movies and it gives you full control. So um, let's get on with it and let's show you Tiny Media Manager. Okay, this is the Tiny Media Manager here. And if we take a look at it, you'll notice the version that I'm running is actually version 4.1.6. I'm running the older version because I've found with some of the newer ones that I've used, uh, I've found things missing like uh, the internet uh, movie database, um, you know, uh, ratings and stuff like that. Uh, and with the newer version, they've reduced the amount of movies that you can actually scrape to have in your library. And I'm on a disability pension. And unfortunately, even though the license is cheap, I can't afford to actually pay that uh, license to yearly to uh, use it. Um, might be a one-off, but uh, yeah, I'm struggling and I just can't afford it. Uh, we won't go into that. Let's show you how to use this. Uh, first of all, I'll just show you, you come through here and you'll see that I have the some of my TV shows already added. And if you double click on one of the ones that you've added and you go to details, you can see the genres. Now for this one, I have a tag for it uh, of UFOs, aliens, ghosts, reality TV. Okay. And you can do the same with your movies. Now let's show you how to add it. So we come through to your settings, which is up in the top corner, and we come through to movies and data sources. You search your hard drive, find your data source, we'll add actions, come through again, we'll add another data source, find your drive, find your folder, we'll add comedies. And from there, once it's added, we can come up and update. And we can see that scraping and finding. Now, there's no metadata created. We need to right click on that. And then you want to search and scrape selected movies. Now, it may take a moment to come through and actually find the data. It's come up. It's found it. There's only one movie in this case. We'll click OK. That's the one we want to add. Give it a moment. And that adds our uh, metadata for our images. Now, if we double click it, we can come through, we can click on the images for the cover, and we can change it to any cover that we want. We'll leave it as it is. We can even choose our own file and have our own cover art for it. I'm going to change the background on this one. I like a clean black background with no actual um, writing on it. That's just my preference. We'll come through under the details, and this is where we have the uh, genres. So I'm going to remove comedy because i find it's more of an action remove crime and i'm just going to leave it as action which is going to make it nice and clean when it comes up to the cody setup which will be in the next video click ok let it scrape give it a moment and it comes up now let's do the next one and you can do them all at the same time but uh, i personally like the control and preference of doing them singly and you can see it's come up with uh, more than one so you go through and you find the one that is correct for your movie. Um, now, the reason I like doing it individually is then I know that it's actually finding the correct movie because I have control over it. So we'll put that one in. I'm not too much of a fan of the covers. So we'll double click over here. We'll go into Knight's Tale there. 
we'll change the filter up the top to only bring up the English since it's a lot of covers. That one's great. I'll we'll use that one. Come over here. I personally find it's more of a fantasy. So we'll come through. If it doesn't exist, you can type it down here and then you can add the genre and add your own. Uh, like I said, you can do kids that way. And that's it. It's done. It's as easy as that. And then from there, uh, we'd go into uh, Cody and um, set it up in that, which will be in the next video that I do. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Um, I'm new to this. This is my first video on it. Uh, hopefully it's a rough idea of how to use Tiny Media Manager. And the next one will be more in-depth with Cody and how I actually set that up. So have a great day. Uh, get that bell on and stay tuned for the next episode.